Ladies and gentlemen. Warriors of Victoria. Ark Knights episode 11 will soon be here on the 27th of April. We will continue the fight in London. In this episode 11 update, we will have 4 new operators. First, the best boy from episode 10, Feist, is going to become playable under the new code name, Stainless. Stainless is our first 6 star artificer supporter. Giving valuable support that is much more effective than other artificers. Mainly because his support device lasts longer or even permanent. And does not restrict to a specific class or position. His devices are also much more varied. Skill 1 makes his device give an attack buff to the target. Skill 2 gives SP support, and because of its flexibility. He's perhaps the best SP battery unit we have so far. Skill 3 will make him able to deploy a turret. Which is activated by attacking it, and can deal AoE physical damage. He's also a great ground supporter to hold back an enemy. For the 5 star, Paprika is our next 5 star medic. Her archetype is a new medic archetype called Chain Medic. Basically Chain Custer but target and healing allied units. She delivers a new way to heal your ops. And got a talent that increases her healing effectiveness. Though other than this new way to heal your ops. She lacks other utility, and not to mention. Each healing bounce will reduce her healing amount. Besides her, Cliff Hart is the other 5 star that has a rate up in this banner. For the 4 star, we have Tota. A besieger sniper that can attack invisible enemies. And increase his attack when there's one in his range. With a nice skill to that attacks two targets, boost his attack speed. And multiply his attack if only attacking one target. For the free operator, we have Dagda. A 5 star brawler that you can obtain from completing tasks in the main theme. She's good to be used in episode 11 especially if you have other Glasgow member. Now let's see the new skins. We got 3 new Witch Feast skins in this event. First is a skin for Kazemaru. She is currently role playing as the castle maid. And a cat burglar. skin for Iris, it's hard to recognize her without her big forehead. Her role is the castle master I suppose. And the kids love this outfit especially when she's storytelling. Next one, a life 2D skin for Mr. Lee. He's role playing as a magician thief for the treasure in the castle. And these are the run skins. For this main theme mechanics and enemies. There's no troublesome mechanic like episode 10 cannon. You even got a support gadget to be used in episode 11 stages. In most stages you can deploy Aladale to target a specific operator. Which she will give the target and surrounding operators. A shield that absorbs up to 1000 points of all kinds of damage. Enemies and the boss in this main theme can hit very hard. So use her shield wisely. This main theme also includes necrosis elemental damage. So you might want to bring a wandering medic. For the enemies, we will mostly fight Naxara sarcasm and machines. This guy from episode 10 will be back. They're weak but each of their attacks will inflict elemental damage build up. An Axera warrior. They are quite weak, but when defeated they will release an effect called desecration which will continuously deal true damage to your operators. Naxera Caster, deals arts damage with a pretty quick interval. And heals the craving twigs, remember this twigs as this will be important later. Withered Seed, they are aerial units that are very weak. 
and when there's an operator in range, it will do a kamikaze toward them. They got a pretty big attack, but if it's only a few of them, most ground unit can survive. But the thing is they always come in big number. So prepare a bait unit like Executor Specialist, or other tanky stationary unit. A Rot Chaser Hound. They're pretty tough when compared to other hound, and inflict a continuous arts damage. Then Naxera Apostle. Some stages in episode 11 will have this craving twigs. Which radiates desecration to the surrounding area. If you destroy the twig, or all enemies in the stage are defeated. Naxera Apostle will emerge from the twig. They are packed with stats. But luckily their stats depends on how many enemies you killed. So what you wanna do is destroy the twigs as soon as possible. To let the apostle emerge early, this way they will be weaker. Next, Sark has Royal Court Caster. Their attacks inflict arts and necrosis damage build up. They can leash one of your operators and continuously inflict arts damage and a big necrosis build up. Which will almost certainly make the victim receive necrosis damage. Then a rod bear a cannibal, they are slow, lack defense and resistance. But have massive HP, and when they are blocked by an operator, that operator will be instantly devoured. Defeating that operator, which make the operator unable to be deployed, until the cannibal is defeated. The best way to fight him is to not block him. Because not only he will instantly defeat the blocking unit, but also increasing his defense, making him tougher to defeat. Or oh well, you can use arts damage. Then there are some machines as enemies. First is a drill vehicle that will increase its stats when its HP falls below 50%. Also immune to most control effects. Sark has Rod Bear a chariot. Only target ground unit when not blocked, and inflict desecration after several attacks. When blocked, it will deal double damage to the bloker. Londinium self-propelled cannon. It has a long range and deals a pretty big physical attack. It also got a special attack that will target the operator, with the highest maximum HP in range. And then launch missiles that deal continuous arts damage to that operator and the surrounding unit. Now let's see the boss, the boss is the Victorian last steam knight. He is bulky and can deal high damage. Normally he's pretty slow and got a reduced attack. But can gain a steam boost to return his attack and movement back to normal. Tanky unit can withstand his normal attack. But when he uses his right arm to attack with his pile bunker. You will need a very tanky unit and perhaps Saladale shield. After losing some portion of his HP, he will fly away from the stage for some time. While firing his missiles from the air, targeting operator with the highest maximum HP. In his second phase, he gets permanent steam boost but his defense is weaker. His missiles attacks also target additional operator. There are a lot of stages in this main theme. If I remember and count this right. Clearing the normal and hard mode, and also the extreme stages, should give you around 42 PO. This material has a higher drop in episode 11 compared to other main themes. There are also new materials in this episode 11 update. And this stage in episode 11 should have the highest drop rate. Like all main theme updates, when you play almost any kind of sanity consuming stages, you will have a chance to obtain 10 sanity potions, and or random material supplies. There will be a new furniture theme. Some new packages. Operator record and paradox simulation. And Stulta for an Arvis Annihilation theme will be released on the 1st of May. So grab your or random and knifing license. There are sarcas that needs a beating, and an engineer cat to gacha. That should be all. Adios.